Hi, I'm Kasten Day. I'm a sophomore here at Swarthmore College, and I want to talk to you a little about a project that we worked on recently in a four-person team that was all about fake news detection, and we called it Fake Bananas, and we placed in the top 10 at HackMIT. So let me explain a little bit about my portion of the project, which was all about machine learning. So we wanted to tackle the challenge of fake news detection. Uh, it's a notoriously hard problem. It's been tried many different ways. The method that we settled on was stance detection. And so the way you can detect fake news through stance is if the user inputs a claim in our web app, like the Afghanistan war was generally bad for the world or Obama was not born in the United States, we can go out, we can take that claim, search for many news articles on that subject, and then if we have many reputable sources which all generally agree with that claim, then we can say your claim is probably true. So the task of our machine learning algorithm is to, given a claim and given a body of text like a news article, we want to say, does that body of text generally agree, generally disagree, um, or is it just completely unrelated to that claim? So I'll go over our machine learning model really quick. Uh, we input a claim and an article body. We then put that through a bag of words with term frequency analysis here in order to vectorize our input into 5,000 vectors for each one. We then use term frequency inverse document frequency, the cosine similarity of that output, in order to run it through our feature vector, which then combines all this input and extracts it down to just one hidden or one hidden layer, which has 100 nodes in it. That hidden layer is then linearly mapped to our four outputs of agree, disagree, discuss, and unrelated. Uh, discuss just means the article was neutral on the claim. It doesn't take a stance to either agree or disagree. And then we softmax that to come, with, come out with our final output. Uh, this is a really unique approach. There's a lot of different ways you can do machine learning uh, for fake news, but I think this one is particularly compelling because of how extensible it is. It's very uh, broad in its approach. We don't try to do individual fact checking or anything like that. We just see if reputable sources generally agree with the user's input. However, there are some things we'd like to do in the future. So we would really like to implement a gradient boosted decision tree uh, the benefits of this, I believe, would be superior related or unrelated classifications. And uh, it's very important that we have all of our articles be very relevant to our claim so that we can actually say relevant articles agree with our claim. Uh, and I think this will help us be even more accurate that than we currently are. Our current accuracy for determining relate related articles and the agree disagree all four classifications is about 82 percent uh, with our testing testing data set. So we're doing really well so far, but we always want to get better. And I think an ensemble approach by implementing our gradient boosted tree and our machine learning model will create the best approach overall for our problem. So now let's show our product in action. If you look up at the screen here, we have an article that I know to be heavily biased against the truth about editing Wikipedia pages. We're gonna copy the link, feed it into our web app. It's gonna go through and extract all of the relevant keywords in the body of the article, and then it will output a claim, either true or false, and it'll show all the sources that we use. So we actually cite our sources, so users can go back and continue to read more about uh, the news article in question. So it's actually a discovery tool as much as anything else. So that's our fake news detection system. I only touched on a small part of it, which I actually am responsible for. Uh, and that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to do something fantastic with one of your companies this summer.